Why do I keep doing this to myself? Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the GX350 kit by Smoke or Smock, however you want to pronounce it, even though we've already confirmed how it's really supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today that is what we're looking at. I don't know why I keep doing this. The TFV8 tank line is a lot of vapor for me. And this one comes with which one? The Cloud Beast. The TFV8 Cloud Beast, I believe. So here it is. This takes four 18650 batteries. They're sold separately, but it also can do two. There's a do not eat packet in here. Don't eat that. Here's the mod. It's relatively big, kind of like the size of the Wismic Rouleau. Underneath that, you have all the goodies. You have a battery warning card. You have an authenticity card, quality control card, and a user's manual. Then here is the tank. You have a micro USB cord that's used for upgrading the firmware only. And then you have some extra O-rings, a tank band, another do not eat packet, another tank band, and then an extra coil. So it comes with the V8-T8 and V8-Q4. So the T8 has eight coils and the Q4 has four coils, as my understanding. Here is the V8-4 coil. It is a 0.15 ohm coil, good between 50 and 180 watts, but best between 90 and 150. And installed is the V8-T8 one, which is also a 0.5 ohm coil, but it's good for 50 to 260 watts and best rated between 120 and 180 watts. So here is the GX350. I've seen it go anywhere from 75 to $85, depending on where you shop. It is available in gold, stainless steel, purple, and red. It is 84.5 millimeters by 58 millimeters by 40.4 millimeters. It goes from one to 350 watts when it has four batteries in it, but when it only has two batteries in it, it goes up to 120 watts. The batteries go here, so you just press and pull, and the batteries can go in there. It can go as low as 0.06 ohm, and it does do temperature control for nickel 200, titanium stainless steel heating elements from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very contoured and angular to fit nicely, and this is the fire bar. It's a very stealthy fire bar. We have the 510 connection on the top and the LED screen with the plus and minus button. It does have a ton of protection features, including the standard like short circuit, overcurrent, all those type of protections. Now, the TFV8 Cloud Beast tank has a 25.5 millimeter diameter and can hold up to six mils but with the different coils it's a little bit less. All right so let's put four batteries in here. It does indicate in which way you need to put them. All right four batteries in. So this is the setup for two. They'll work. It'll work without these two batteries and then that's what it is at four just to give you guys an example. It is off so five clicks turns it on and it lights up. Here we have the seconds bar, the mode that you're in, normal, soft, or hard, wattage, voltage, ohm, and battery indicator. This works almost identical to the other smoke menu options where you do like one, two, three to get into the menu, and then you can menu, mode, puffs, settings. It works just the same as like the alien, the alien baby, all of those. So I'm going to fill it, and this is the swivel top. So you open it like that and fill. And I filled this tank to the brim because I know these TFV tanks are juice guzzlers. So I'm gonna let that wick up. Five clicks to the fire bar locks the device. Five clicks unlocks it. So this coil is best between 120 and 180. I'm going to vape it at 130 to start off with and see how it goes. This is quite a heavy mod if I do say so. And I do say so. Mmm, not ready for this. Let's go. Oh my god, clouds, bitch. Woo! Jeez, that's like quick to vape, like click to vape. It's right there. That was a 1.1 second, like, squeeze on the fire bar because that's all this bitch can handle at 130 watts with a octuple coil in there. Oh my god. That was one second. That was one second. Jeez, and you see all of that vapor? I can't imagine the people out there that say they vape this for like seven seconds at an, on average. That's 
insane. One point three. You guys, I don't think I'm gonna even make it to two seconds. I want to note that the flavor is marvelous. The vapor production is huge. It's a little too much for me. Thank God they have like a really wide open airflow. Man, this is a beastly device. And did I mention how heavy it is? I want to say this feels heavier than the mod I looked at earlier this week that had five 18650s in it. Oh my God. 1.4, we're moving up. Ooh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have put a three nick in this because I'm like, I'm feeling it way more than I would if it was in like my cup D. Like feeling the nicotine buzz. <sighs> okay, I'll do a couple more vapes. Wow, it's crazy. Who vapes on this on the regular? Who vapes this setup on the regular? Let me know. That's it for the video. I can't take much more of this. I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out for yourself if you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Don't forget to turn on the little bell notification symbol so you don't miss a single video. I do upload daily. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. I love to chat over there on my socials. Links will be below for those. One more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join kasa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape. It's really important in the USA right now to call and urge your state representative to support the Cole Bishop. HR 1136, all that good jazz, fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.